A rising small business, bagels seasoned with love and the wisdom of grandmothers. Take a look. The way we came up with our name was kind of inspired from our story. So when we first got reconnected, everyone kept saying how kismet it was that we were back together. We have been together a little over three years, but we met when we were children. Our grandmothers have been friends since the 60s in Philadelphia. I was at a, a business event and I got a tap on the shoulder and it was Alex's grandmother. <laughs> and she asked me to lunch the following week. About two minutes in, it was all about Alex. My and, grandma trying to set me up. <laughs> yeah, it was sort of a, a subtle arranged marriage, yes. if you will. <laughs> when the pandemic hit, the first thing that hit our mind was how do we survive, right? Our jobs were just completely halted right away. Uh, and so thinking in survival mode and also just trying to find a sense of purpose, uh, I ordered a ton of flour from this uh, flour mill in Doylestown, Pennsylvania called Castle Valley Mill and started baking bread every day. So yeah, I, just, I really wanted a, a fresh bagel. And we looked up our recipe and tried it out. And seriously, like the first bite we took into the bagels, it was like pure magic. Oh my God, that's insane. It's incredible. We started posting it on Instagram, just sharing what we were doing with everybody. And you know, everyone was stuck inside. So we started dropping bagels off to our family and everyone kept messaging us being like, these are the best bagels we've ever had. So we ended up having people like lined out of our door, uh, you know, here to buy bagels. And before you knew it, our house was a kitchen. I mean, we had <laughs> tubs and tubs of seeds and flowers and spices. And it just got so out of control that within like a month and a half, we said we probably need a legal kitchen. We ended up finding a few blocks away. Our first couple of weeks of sales, we collected about $1,200. So we actually took the entirety of the proceeds and donated to a local organization called Project Home. Where you could sponsor different families during the pandemic uh, and you could buy them groceries. I guess the word I would use to describe our offerings is diverse. We do lots of special bagel and schmear flavors like a za'atar bagel or um, a white poppy and sumac. So we like to have fun and play around. If our grandmas were with us right now, they would probably just say that it's kismet. I mean, it really, they have so much joy in seeing us together and seeing us build this and they love our bagels too. I mean, we bring them bagels once a week. They had a crush when they were younger and they fell in love when they were older. It's quite a kismet story. Kismet, everyone. It's really kismet, in my opinion. <laughs> Aw, it makes you love love and doesn't it make you want a bagel and some schmear? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to, we have to talk about the schmear thing later. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.